One of the most underrated games in this weekend's slate of matchups is UNLV and Fresno State, two six and one teams that most people kind of sleep on and have not written off, but don't really pay attention to are facing off in what is going to dictate a lot in the Mountain West race for the championship. Obviously, everyone is chasing Air Force right now, but UNLV and Fresno State are looking to insert themselves as the the undisputed number two team. Doesn't mean that they are not better than Air Force. It just means that right now, Air Force is not getting beat by anybody, and these two teams are hoping to get a chance to do that for a title and UNLV has been kind of a surprise when Barry Odom took over. I don't think many people expected big things from this program, but he has done a great job of elevating this program to a new level. Now, when you look at who they've beaten the last five games, it's not exactly the most impressive list. Colorado state has disappointed so far this year. Hasn't found a way to win those close games. Could be a team that's better next year. Nevada obviously is one of the worst in college football Hawaii has been disappointing UTEP has been disappointing Vanderbilt has been disappointing that being said you have found ways to win those games you cannot take that away from UNLV they have found ways to win football games and you have to give them credit for that because that's built their confidence to a level that gives them the ability to pull off this win they have the confidence to play well and make life difficult for Fresno State. There's certain things about Fresno State, too, that we'll talk about in a little bit that could affect this game as well. But to me, UNLV has played really well, and they have dealt with adversity. Doug Brumfeld went down with an injury, and they needed someone to step up. Jaden Maeva has done a great job, 1,300 yards and five touchdowns. This is a team that very much wants to run the football first, but he has done a good job of being efficient throwing the ball, and a guy like Ricky White has benefited from that. Ricky White is one of the best wide receivers in the Mountain West and has done a great job of providing his quarterbacks with a reliable target. The defense, maybe not the best in terms of slowing teams down. They're pretty good against the run, but in terms of explosiveness, they have struggled. That's going to be a big key because this is a Fresno State team that wants to take the top off the defense. They want to score at a blistering pace, and that could give this UNLV UNLV team plenty of trouble. Now, we mentioned this before. There are certain things about Fresno State where you need to have certain answers before you know what kind of team this is going to be. Mikey Keene has been resting up since the Wyoming game. And we're not really sure what we're going to see from him. What are we going to see in terms of his health? Is he going to play? Is he not? And then if he does play, what are we going to get from him? This offense relies on the quarterback to be a consistent playmaker, a consistent contributor, because this is a team that's averaging over 300 yards per game passing. And no offense to Logan fight, but he's not Mikey Keene. So this offense looks tremendously different if Mikey Keene does not play. Now there's plenty of playmakers to utilize. Eric Brooks is having a big year. Jalen Gill has been a huge addition. Uh, Trey Watson has been a nice, nice player for this team as well. But there are certain things that Fresno State needs to do to be successful and having a healthy quarterback that can throw the ball is one of them. I think the biggest question for me is both teams have firepower. It's just a matter of who has more. And if Mikey Keene plays, I think that gives Fresno State the advantage. I think that gives them exactly what they need. But we also saw what Wyoming did to them and we've seen what happens if he's not able to go. So that's a big question for me. Are they going to be able to elevate their game to be explosive, or are we going to have problems with what this team is able to do without their star? And UNLV is is a team that on paper and statistically maybe doesn't look like the best team, but I think that they are definitely able to pull off an upset. We've seen them do that against a team like Vanderbilt, and they can definitely do that against Fresno State. Again, the matchups favor Fresno State. There's really not any question about that. But again, UNLV has found ways to win, and sometimes you don't have to win pretty. You don't necessarily have to be the more talented team. You don't have to necessarily do a lot free game to get people to believe in you. You just have to find a way to win the game. And so far, UNLV has done that. And if they're able to disrupt what Fresno State wants to do, then I think you're looking at a team that can very much create some turnovers, get the offense back to the football, and let a guy like Jaden Maeva get more opportunities to show what he can do. Because we've seen him throw the football, we've seen him run the football, and that could be something that is a big difference against Fresno State. Fresno State's defense 
struggled against Wyoming because Andrew Peasley had a good game and Jaden Maeva has the potential to be even more explosive. When it comes to picking this game, the biggest question to me is, is Mikey Keene going to play? If he is playing, I like Fresno State. If he's not, that's where things get interesting. I would lean probably UNLV at that point if Mikey Keene can't go. I just don't trust what Logan Fife is able to do in terms of elevating this offense. And UNLV is playing with a ton of confidence. And right now, Fife has not shown enough for me to be able to confidently say this team can still win in this type of a game. And that's disappointing, especially when an injury ruins things. But if it's not Mikey Keene, I have serious concerns about Fresno State's ability to win this game. I'm not necessarily they're going to lose for sure, but I lean UNLV that in that regard. I think it'll still be a fun game if Mikey Keene plays. Could be a high-scoring affair, which I hope for, because that would be really fun. But right now, I think Fresno State is still the better team, and they know what they're doing when Mikey Keene is in. That offense is really tough to stop, and the Bulldogs are a really fun team to watch when he is playing.